Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Bless your holy name, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I thank the Lord for this privilege you're giving me to to have a, a, this opportunity to share with you this subject. Um, uh, first of all, I appreciate the Lord uh, for allowing me to be a part of pastor's meeting. Just been been done uh, last night, Saturday night, of uh, Hollywood, Florida, where all pastors, most of them, not all, but most of them was gathering. Uh, that's just a beginning. That's just a prelude. Uh, prelude uh, for what's going to happen uh, for the continuing gathering those pastors to to work together as one man to build the church of living God, to build the body of Christ. So I, I feel uh, honored, I've been honored to have the opportunity to be there and also have a chance to present, to stood up and then defend the principle what is right uh, and the body of Christ, uh, defend a principle. I'm not try to put anybody down and uh, try to get back to what been done, what been already happened, and we already s taking care of that. We forgive our brother, our sisters, and keep moving on on the things of God. So we just brought something up just to uh, so we need to be serious and st stand up in principle. Otherwise, we're not going to build anything for the Lord. We're not going to do anything uh, that God can please on it. And uh, yeah, I think that was a good meeting. And also, uh, I think the leader... We need to keep gathering together to that we can get some profit and gathering and also support one another and bear the burden, the load, bring carry the load together and to build the precious body of Christ. So I just feel it's necessary to uh, post this video. My, there's a study I would like to uh, talking about to share with you five points very important for a leader uh, need to have uh, that kind of skill uh, we need them those kind of uh, uh, a point necessary we need to have uh, to, to be qualified as a leader uh, we always consider that too as a mark of identification to as a leader a walk for, on the things a walk in the kingdom of God. So we're not there to destroy or uh, destroy uh, our colleague reputation. Their value we consider their value the our important. They, they are for us. They really are blood that we, we consider very important for us because we are a member one another. That's what the Bible said in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We are the member and the body of Christ. The member is not only one, verse 14, but many members. When I said I'm a mayor, I'm a mayor on the Kissimmee area. I'm not referred to Protestant. I'm not referred to religion group. I know there's several churches, religion churches there, that uh, kind of denominations. So I'm not referred to them when I said I'm a mayor. 
I'm referred to my group, the group I'm in, the body of Christ, the church of living God, the church God left, he went to third heaven, back to his a dwelling, heavenly dwelling place, and he left a 12 apostles to build the kingdom of God, the body of Christ. That's why we find a better way in Christ. So there is tw a five uh, important point I would like to uh, uh, underline with you and share with you. That's the first one is to step up and lead initially, be a man of action. And uh, be a man of action and assume it is your job and your moment. Is your job and your moment. Hit a party. Hit a party. Reject passivity. Reject passivity. Reject passivity. So that's very important to reject all kinds. The thing, the thing not necessary to, to, to hold on to them. To, to not hold on to it. And let them go. But be a, be a leader. Lead the people in the right direction. According to the New Testament pattern. So we cannot continue to do the thing according to our own motive. Own emotion. And that will bring distraction for your own soul. And, uh, so I know we cannot destroy the body of Christ. Because Jesus is the head of his church. His body. So he's in charge. He's in control. We... He had the life and death in his hand. He got health, he got health and sickness and die and death in his hand. So he's in charge of his body. He's in charge of his people. So as a leader, we need to live, show the leading way, show ability to lead the people, and then show we got skill from God by the anointing by the Spirit of God. And to lead the to lead the body of Christ. So, I'm not disagree to have a group, a man to together to lead the body of Christ or the group or the state. I know some several state already place some men, but I'm not gonna be back up thing like that. If it's carnal, if you just select by group by the earthly desire or carnal desire, I will never support those kind of the choice, but if it come by the anointing by the Spirit of God, set set apart, Barnabas and Barnabas and in, uh, and Paul, if it done like the New Testament or the church, I will support that myself. I know they don't need me to decide anything they want, but as a pastor, as a leader in the body, I will not cooperate or support any wrongdoing. Any kind of group that people try to do elder, whatever, because I'm, I got my calling from the Lord. I'm not. I don't have any calling from any, whoso, whosoever, no one, but God calling me, and I have to be there and walk in the path of, of righteousness. So I appreciate all the leaders, and I. It was a good sign, a good move, and we're gonna keep continue praying for them. That way we can continue. Gathering together without any uh, bad motivation, bad attitude, and everybody need to watch them. The statement, and I know all of us need to do that. We, there's a lot of wrong statement being a curve being done, being said. A lot of things being said not correct. I know we're not perfect yet, but we working on a bear one another the burden, and then try to forgive one another, and that way we can build. The body of Christ. So, and after that, the first one is lead with initial, initiate, lead, initiate, be a man of action and assume it. Is, it is your job and your moment. So we need to do that. And then after that, you see David uh, uh, sent Joab. And all the army, the mighty men. So as a leader, we need to be strong leaders. Do not let's, let's, let you intimidate it. 
intimidated by any person, the character or uh, show kind of ability, even they doing sin, and then you try to tolerate them. You cannot tolerate people because they can, or maybe sharp on the teaching, or sharp on scriptures. That doesn't mean anything for me, and according to the Bible. So I'm not going to put myself in a position like uh, make me weak as a leader if I have to bring those kind of things up to tolerate people. That's going to make you very weak and make you disqualify as a leader. So we don't want that for anybody placed as a leader on the leadership rank. That way you not let anybody intimidate you to not do your assignment as a leader. And I appreciate all the leaders, strong leaders, as he said, the mighty men, the mighty army. A mighty men, David King of Israel being used those men, strong men, to defend the people of God. That's why we need the, today the strong men. And I know God going to use some strong men to carry on, uh, carry, uh, carry the torch, uh, carry, carry the flame, and uh, keep moving on and to see the great movement of God among the people of God. you find that also in 2 Samuel 10, verse 7 and 12. Verse 7 to 12, Lord, to what is good. Lord, do what is good in His sight. Do what is good in His sight. And uh, that's very important to do that. Be strong and let us show ourselves courageous, courageous for the sake of our people and for the cities of our God. And may the Lord do what is good in his sight. Second Samuel two Second Samuel ten verse seven to twelve. I search for a man among them who will build up the wall, stand in the gap before me for the land. So that I will not destroy it, but I find no one. Ezekiel 22 verse 30. So there's some of the scriptures, Psalm 101, Proverbs 14, Proverbs 14, 23, Proverbs 20 verse 6, Jeremiah 5, 1, Ezekiel 22, 23 into 31, John 10, 11, 11 to 13, James 1, 23 to 25. So the second one was speak out. Silence in the midst of sin is a sin. Silence in the midst of sin is sin. So if you're a leader, you cannot let you intimidate, especially the leading leaders or elders. So I know all of us is elder or leader and in, 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 in cert, in certain level. So in my church, they recognize me as a leader. They recognize me as an elder in my church because I got pastor, preacher in my church. But I'm the one on the top of them. God first, but I'm the one on the top of them after God. So... Everybody has some responsibility. Locally, you in charge for the people you're leading on the Lord. So, speak out. Silence in the midst of the sin, of sin is a sin. Be courageous. Be courageous. Be courageous. And fear God, not men. Fear God and not men. Speak the truth and love. Speak the truth and love. That's the second one. And then, bear there is open rebuke. Then love that is concealed, faithful, are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of the enemies. Proverbs 27, verse 5 and 6. 
Amen. Better is open rebuke than love that is concealed. Than love that is concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. Proverbs 27, verse 5 and 6. And six. So you see, do not good is not good is not profitable to be silenced in the midst of sin. That's why the leader need to tell the truth. Do not afraid for whosoever, because myself as a leader, I'm not afraid. Who, no, I'm not afraid of no one. But I'm I'm afraid of God and men and order men, honest men. I can respect them, honor them. So if you not prove yourself as a leader. Tolerate to have some tolerance, tolerate sin. I will not have appreciation for you. I will have the the appreciation, the appreciation, the appreciation. I will have a, instead appreciation. Okay, so we don't want that. We want to work together as one man. Open your mouth for the mute, for the right of all the unfortunate and unfortunate. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and defend the right of the affitted and needy. Proverbs 31, verse 8 and 9. You see, there's a lot of people do not educate it, do not have any education in the body or a spiritually, even naturally. Even naturally. So, if you've been equipped according to your leader, that's why you're gonna be. If you used to have a lead troublemaker leader, you cannot be different because you've been raised in this kind of environment. That's why you always wanna make trouble and to not have any respect for people being there before you or being qualified before you. So myself, I don't have to talk about myself, but my action, my behavior, the way I've been living my life in the body of Christ, in the past, and the present time. There is no elder can point finger on me. I've been disrespect them. I can share the word of God. I've been standing on the principle. That's two different things. I'm not a carnal. And I've been an educated man. Spiritual and natural man. And I'm not a, used to be in the fight. That's why I've been forgive my brother. I don't call people to do that for me. Nobody do it for me. But God help me to Try to make a deal to appreciate my brother, to forgive him, and to keep moving in the thing of God. I'm not used to be like people keep fight. I'm not like a dog and cat. I'm an educated man on the gospel. I've been equipped. I've been taught by several great men of God for through the years, about the 30 years in the ministry. And I have also 14 years been doing the church. I've been called. You have a fellowship. You got that on the Facebook. You got that on the YouTube. That's not something just happened. That's been 2000, 2001 since I started have a fellowship in the body of Christ. So we know we will always got troublemaker among us. We all we will have always always be. You will have always the the guy do not have any clue. And what God is doing. They look like some tender. Creator, created him. Them. It look like some tender. Give them birth on earth. Or being just see them on the body. I'm not in the body. Because my uncle. My brother. My father. Put me in the body. Or being get some grace. To have a, be pastor. I'm calling direct, directly by God. My dad is. Baptized in my church. I don't have any relative in the body. Give me some chance from an opportunity. My calling. I got to defend it. And defend the righteous. The righteousness of God. Defend what is right. I will always stand as an honest man. Honest brother in the body. And I will dare to defend what is right. And stand for based on principle. What God wants for the church of living God. The way things need to be done among us. So, when you talk, you just prove yourself. I'm talking now, I prove myself. 
I don't just got a few verses, and not just got something keep talking, make people see me, and I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to teach when to just do a show off. I'm not going to do things like that. When I go somewhere, I just present myself. If God put on my heart a song, I just put a song, sing a song. If I just got to say a few words, I said a few words. I'm not going to God. I'm not going to do anything like I'm doing something like to be like a politic or do something to to show to show up, show people I know. I'm not there for competition. I will not. People are not going to put me in front, make me stand up to keep talking about the God mystery, so and so, all kind of subject. I'm not going to do that. And I'm not going to take on that trap. And I, I, that will be kind of. I'm not going to just show people what, how much I know. That doesn't mean nothing. That's just kind of. That's, that's demonic. You know? So that's why I, saw, I see a lot of people. I'm observing a lot of people doing it. To show people they know. I'm not doing that to show people I know. I know thing. Okay? You're not going to see that. You know, but, but sanctify, sanctify Christ as Lord in your heart. Always be ready to make a defense. A defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you. Yet, with Kindness and reverence. 1 Peter 3, verse 15. You got some other scriptures. Proverbs, Proverbs 14, verse 25. Proverbs 15, 1, 2. Proverbs 24, verse 11 and 12. Isaiah 8, verse 11 to 13. Jeremiah 1, verse 17. Romans 1, verse 16. So that's very really important point we need as a leader to act. Number three, stand strong. Don't give and when you are challenged. It's like don't give up. Don't give in when you are challenged. When you are challenged. Attack or criticize. When you attack, do not give anything Stand strong. You need to stand strong. Even you on the challenges, on the attack, you need to stay firm. Do not give up the fight. Do not give up the battle. The battle. Do not give up the battle. Do not give up the fight. Number three again. Stand strong. Stand strong. That's the character a leadership need to have. Stand strong. Don't. Give in when you are challenged, attack it, or criticize it. You see? Now, behold, I have made you today as a fortified city. Remember, listen to this. Now, behold, I have made you today as a fortified, fortified, uh, Fortified city and has a pillar of iron and has a wall of bronze against the whole land to the kings of Judah, to his princes, to his prince, uh, priests, and to the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they will not overcome you for I am with you to deliver you declare the Lord Jeremiah 1 verse 18 and 19 hallelujah you see God will be there for with you leader pastor colleague and the Lord God will be there for you therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast Unmovable, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your toy is not in vain in the Lord. First Corinthians chapter 
15 verse 58. Be of sober spirit. Be on the alert. Be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowl around, around, prowl around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But resist him in your faith, knowing that the same. Experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world. First Peter five, verse eight and nine. Are there scriptures? Second Chronicles sixteen nine, Proverbs twenty four ten, Isaiah forty one ten, Jeremiah twelve five. Amen. 1 Corinthians 10, 13, Galatians, Galatians, uh, Galatians uh, 1, Galatians 1, 10, Philippians 1, 27 and 28. Amen. Verse 4, you stay humble. You see, after all those things, all those qualifications, you, among them, you, one of them is stay humble. When God is using you, stay humble. As a leader, do not be arrogant. Do not try to put down the rest of the brethren. Do not think you something, the rest nothing. That's arrogant spirit. And your statement, the way you are posting, or some cases, you need to always show humbleness. Be humble. Be vigilant against pride. You see? Be vigilant against pride. Get the log out of your eyes. Don't think less of yourself. Think of yourself less. Don't think less of yourself. Think of yourself less. Let the righteous smite me kindness and kindness and reprove me. It is oil upon the head. Do not let my head refuse it, for still my prayer and against the wicked deeds. Psalm 141 verse 5. You younger men, likewise, be subject to your elders and all of you. Clothe yourself with humility toward one another. Remember, toward one another. Even the young pastor, young leaders got to submit, uh, a honor the, the, the leading brother, the leader above you. But also the Bible said, we need to work in humility toward one another. You know? Close yourself with humility toward one another. For God is opposed to the proud, but give grace to humble. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you at the proper time, casting all your anxiety on Him, because His Carry his cares for you. First Peter five verse five verse se to seven. Other scriptures. Amen. Is a proverb three. Verse five and one. Verse five and six. Excuse me. Proverb one, twelve verse one. Isaiah sixty six verse verse two. Micah Micah six. Uh, verse 8, John, John uh, 15, verse 5, Philippians 2, verse 3 to 5. The last, number 5, the, the last point is to serve the king. Seek first his kingdom. That's, uh, that needs to be the leader also care about the king search for the kingdom 
search or serve the king. You know, we need to sh show God we serving him, give time for his work. We cannot just have a meeting and then you don't know when you're going to have the next meeting. If you have some urgent, some emergency, some problems, we need to attack the problem and then try stay fast and then be close to one another and then to find results, good results. Not to keep fighting, war, you know, you know, all kinds of uh, bad spirit. But we try to be together and then forgive one another and to build the church of living God. Number five, again, serve the king. Seek first his kingdom, his glory, his righteousness, hope, and the eternal life for a greater reward. Amen. So that's why we need to work together. As one man, as one man to build the precious body of Christ. So I know we don't want to be too long. And we, we encourage us to work together. Encourage, encourage us to work together. Of a thousand hundred, fifteen, and ten. And uh, you see, he, as I said a little while ago at the beginning, I'm not against any uh, place you can put people to work. And like First King eleven twenty eight, uh, some king, uh, some men, they have to be steady in the work, just working as the young men got to work, put young men to work, amen. Put young men to work. Uh, Moses, I don't think no, none of the elder or leading the elder this day can compare with Moses. Because that's the guy, this brother, this man being direct, talk with God, direct communication with God. Even so, he has to select men to help carry the burden. The burden. So that's you also you find that now in Exodus 18, chapter 18, verse 21, show you the find some great men, some good men, some strong men. Capable to carry the the burden, the load, the heavy load with Moses. Some have to be head on thousand people. Some been in head on head on like a fifty hundred. I think I think the that's the verse. Yes, I think I have that verse. And uh, verse uh, eleven, verse twenty one on a uh, Exodus. 18, before I'm ending, before I'm close my uh, segment, my subject, but select capable men from all the people. Men who fear God. Just worthy. Amen. Just worthy. Not just a click of the men you just have some friendship, some click, but the men just worthy. Just what I mean? The men they can have confidence. They can trust. They've been uh, proved themselves, and then they are trustworthy. Not just click, and then they're in immorality. They've been doing wrongdoing, and then you think you can just put them as in charge. You can do it, but God is in charge. He know how to destroy all government. Is not created. Is not formed. But. Uh, I know a lot of men been fight, but a lot of men die today. They're not there. They think they're eternal. They think they are God, they Jesus, even above Jesus. But a lot of them do no longer exist. Because God's, God is the one in charge, the, uh, the government, spiritual government. I'm not talking natural government. I mean, men of God, I cannot keep talking about government, natural government. There's, they, they have to take care. There's people there to take care of that. I'm a man of God. I'm not man, kind of man. I'm not earthly man. I'm a man of God. I'm there to talking about the government of God, not a government, natural government. That's not my business. Nothing to see with that. 
Because we got a, a commission, we got a mission to help sinner, bring sinner to God. We're not there to bring a holy people to the sinner. So period. Amen. So that's why we read this verse for you. And uh, before I'm ending, a close, close my uh, subject. Uh, in verse 21, he said, The man who fear God, trustworthy. You see, free, fear God. When you fear God, you're going to find the trustworthy. Okay? But that's not natural. That's not carnal. That's not people troublemaker. That's not people that pretending sharp. There's nothing, there's no such thing about sharp. The blood is sharp. You have to be sharp. All of us in the body of Christ should be sharp guys. Sharp teacher. Sharp pastor. Sharp elder. If you know your Bible. I know my Bible. I cannot consider people sharp to do iniquity. Because I know I'm a scripture man. I'm, I've been equipped by the word of God. And I know what I know by the word of God. By the power of God. That's making you wicked. If you keep saying Thing like that, and people are going to keep use that to commit it, all kind of crime, spiritual crime, a disorder. We, the men of God, we equip. We should be able to teach and preach without fear, without any lack to manage the word of God. Amen. And what I'm telling you, even the men you, you refer to. People refer, no, who I am in the Lord, who I manage the word of God. And I said that to bragging on myself, but watch what watch what you say. Watch your speak. Watch your speech, if I can say. You can create a a lot of doubt in your ministry if you're a leader, you don't stand as a leader. Sometimes I saw those people come disrespect you guys because they think they know something and then you not know something and then you bound down before those men. I cannot bound down because I'm knowledgeable in the word of God. God used me so much through the years and I've been equipped in the body of Christ so I cannot take pressure let intimidated by few verses people use in the scripture of God and the pulpit uh, among us to fool people. I'm not going to let people fool me with any such of the thing. Be a man. That's why the Bible said, be a man. A man of courage. That's why leadership is all about. Be a man courageous. Amen. Be a man courageous. That's why I've been elaborating a few points. I don't even stay too long because it's going to be a big, a long video. But I give you those plenty of those verses. So just work on it. I make some search. And after search, you need to have the ability to explain the word of God. Amen? So may God bless you and keep you in His grace. I love each one of you. I'm not doing anything to destroy whosoever. I don't want to mention any nobody's name. I don't want to keep doing things like that. But you know, this way you can hear more gospel, more, more truth. And you can hear me, or either one of the ministers, because sometimes there's not enough time in the meeting to talk. Sometimes you want to say something, they try to cover it, that up and take that, give it to different people. That's make you wicked also. That's a big mistake. Because the gospel we have, we need to share the gospel. We need to share the opportunity to everyone to expre express themselves. Or explain themselves, express themselves. Give the opportunity to everyone. Because I know a lot of people been think there's something today they no longer hear. They've been tagged some blood. I'm, I'm a witness. So there's a time for everyone. If somebody want to take over you, be above you, and criticize you, humiliate you, do wrongdoing to you, let them go. 
Let them do it. Because you are a man of God, you belong to the Lord, the master, the head of the body, the head of the church. He knows what to do to make the, put water on those people wine. Cool down. I'm not going to intimidate. I'm not going to let me lose my temper because the carnal man, the earthly man, don't know how to manage things among the people of God. Same thing for the saint. You get that listening to this video, do not discourage. Take courage. If you have questions for me, you can text me, inbox me, earnspappy at gmail.com. That's my email address. Those who are a friend of me on Facebook friend, Facebook, the saint and the body of Christ, you have a great opportunity to questioning me. Inbox me. On the Facebook, if you are my friend. If you're not my friend, you can become my friend on Facebook. Call me. Or oh, request friend. My cell phone also on my Facebook. My email is there. So there's a lot of ways you can communicate with me. You don't have to criticize me. You can if you want. I cannot stop nobody to do that. You can see me wrong or right. I don't need anything from people. I don't need any comment. I'm not trying to do manipulate people or try to get some vote people to promote me god already promoted me god already promoted me i don't need any promotion promotion from no one i don't need any seat from no one i'm a father of five kids i got a wife i've got kids and i'm a pastor i got my own church i don't need anything i'm already got my seat as long as i'm sitting in the in chair on my own church so on my own local, I don't have to have a big one because Jesus Christ, when he was born, he was born in the major. He was one in the major. Yes, he was one in the place where there is animal. Is that right? He was born in the manger. So there's no such thing about big building or small building. If my brother is blessed, he got people there to help him to have a big building. Blessed be the Lord. Because at, at least the gospel not less to preach or less preach. But the gospel can move on so fast and so quick. And then more people can hear the gospel. I don't have any, any desire, anything bad in my life against whosoever. But I love the Lord. I appreciate what God done in my life. I, I'm not supposed to be still alive. Exist today. But God give me a chance. And I appreciate that. Pray for me. And I'll pray for you. I love each one of you. Every single one of you. I love you guys. Because I love the Lord. Rather to be in the world. Or do one thing in the body. In the world. Religious world. It's better to. Take make stand or take stand for God and preach the gospel. Encourage our brother to unite together. That's my goal. That's my prayer. May the Lord can unite the people together. That's my desire to see God moving among His people. To see God move in the mighty way with His His people. So I'm not there to show up. I know better or then or bragging on myself, puffed up, you know, but that's not that my desire. And then uh, my pastor, when they know what pastor you been you belong to, you what church you belong to, you you come in from, that also give a meaning who you are. If you been have a pastor, a troublemaker, uh, make a lot of trouble in the body, among the pastor. Confusion, always fighting. That's why you are. You got to prove yourself, show the difference. But if your statement will determine who you are. That's not keep telling people, I'm a good people. Or I'm trying to defend elderly when you are a disrespectful one. That's already proved yourself. Unless they are fanatic. They are click people. They cannot see that. But I'm standing for what is right. And I love Every single man of God, pastor, and the body of Christ. Even some making big mistakes 
they not should, should they should not even be a pastor. I cannot destroy them. If God still give them a chance, give them a chance. I have to give them a chance because I'm not perfect yet, but I'm on my way. I'm far away in the in the work of God and the perfection of God because I cannot fool myself. The Bible is there. The, there's a, a, a enough a provision. A lot of things in the Bible can help keep us be clean, be holy, and perfect according to the Bible. Because God's com God coming coming back for a church, holy church, perfect church. That's why God expect from us to be holy and acceptable on His side. May the Lord richly bless you and keep you in His grace. I love you all. Again, pray for me and I'll pray for you. This is your blood and the Lord, Ernst Florian, the Shepherd Heart, and Kissimmee Church in Florida, where I am the leader, the pastor, and the teacher in the Shepherd Heart in that church. May God richly bless you and keep you again in His wonderful grace. Amen. Praise God.